Welcome. How's it going, everybody? How are you guys doing this evening? Uh, how are you feeling? Um, what are your thoughts on the current uh, political climate? No, no, we won't bring that up. Not going to bring that into the stream. <laughs> We're going to keep it nice and positive today. We're going to keep it nice, clean, uh, comfy, uh, sweet and satisfying. That's right. How How is it? How is it going? All right, so I'm going to be doing a little sponsored stream here. This isn't all I'll be doing, but I wanted to play this game anyway, and then I saw it was a, a bounty, so we're going to play, be playing Marble It Up. Uh, if some of you guys remember, I think it was called Marble Madness on the Xbox 360. The game was freaking dope, and uh, this is like its spiritual successor. I think it's made by the same uh, development team. Was it Marble Blast Ultra? That was it. Super Marble Ball. I remember these games. What the fuck is Marble Madness? What the <laughs> What's Marble Madness? That's not even... What the fuck is this game? Alright, so let me let me give you an idea of what this game is based off of uh, here, okay? Um, I need to give you a, an idea here. We've got a... Uh, We've got it here, ready to go. Just a little preview for you. Just a sweet little preview for you guys. So this is this is the game we're gonna be playing. All right, looks pretty good. That's right, and this is actually the second level. This is actually the second level. Don't mean to spoil it. I'm just going to give you a little preview of what we're going to be getting into here. This is level two. There you Dawson, go. thank you for There's the 11 months. There's something going down in the kitchen. A glass broke down in the kitchen. I have to go to the kitchen now because glass is splattering on the ground. So it looks pretty good. Kind of different from the first level. I think they're going for um, a multi... Uh, a multi art a very artsy standpoint. Alright, that guy didn't do very well. This is a pretty bad demo. This is about as bad as uh, what Cuphead looked like. Um, and I think I have the third level here somewhere. Hold on, let me... Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the third level. So, just to give you an idea of what we're going to be getting here. Third level is very different from the others. As you can see, this game offers uh, many different uh, ways to enjoy it. So you're not just stuck in with one genre. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty excited to play this. Um, I'm, I'm a little worried about the... Um, the jump between graphics is kind of confusing, um, but that's okay. You know, I'm willing to give it a, a shot. Actually, you know, I do have the fourth level here. Uh, wow, now this one's realistic. Oh, wow. It looks like they put all the budget into this one. Holy crap, look at that, man. You can even see the time on the, on the uh, oven there. The camera system is really, really good. Look at that physics engine, man. You could actually feel the texture of this, uh, this track here. You see that little gradient in the wood? Look at that. That's, that's detail right there. That's craftsmanship. Definitely, uh, most of the budget went towards this. Uh, you could tell the difference in quality. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see this. Really excited to see this level. All right, so we're going to have to get through, uh, wade through three levels before we get to that one. But yeah, I'm just going to fire it up, you know. We're going to have a good time. I'm going to marble it up. Uh, let's freaking do it, man. Let's track this, uh, let's track this bounty here. 
This is a sponsored stream. I'm shilling this game. Buy this game if you like it. Buy it immediately. Don't have money? Earn it. Buy the game. Purchase the game. Purchase the game as soon as you can. If you like this gameplay, purchase the game. Guys, if you like the graphics of this game, purchase it, please. What's the big deal? Can't afford the game? Ask someone for money to buy it. All right? Shit, should I play with a controller? Where is my controller? This is probably gonna be pretty difficult with a keyboard. This game was difficult enough uh, with a controller. I remember some, some levels were pretty uh, infuriating. Nerd, send me your uh, Bitcoin wallet information. What are you and I will send there? it to you. Kami? Hypo, thank you for the 17 months. Here we go. Let's learn to roll. Frick yeah, dude. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I don't know if you can. Uh, oh, hold on a second. This is way too bright. This is from yesterday. Get that out of the way. Why the fuck is this... Hold on, is it... Okay, it's normal now. There we go. Guys, I just want to tell you... What? <laughs> Alright, we're good. Guys, I don't know if you can tell, but we're actually rolling right now. Um, we're going to be rolling into this hole here. And you know, this game... This game... This is not just a game. This is actually a, an allegory for life. Um... We're all rolling towards the finish line. We're all rolling towards our goals. And I want you to look at this game not as just a game that you play, something that you consume and then you shelve. Um, I want you to look at this as an experience that actually enriches your life and benefits you throughout the ages. Um, here we go into the goal, as you can see, once again. Just think of this as aging up. Think of this as, um, as you gaining experience and becoming a wiser human. There we go. All right. Made it. See? And let me tell you something now. I'm going to pause this for a second. I'm going to talk to you about this. Um, going off the beaten path, sometimes it's not so lucrative. Sometimes it has its pitfalls, as you can see illustrated in this game. But what matters is picking yourself up and getting back on your path. Okay? One failure does not equal a lifetime of failure. You have to progress. Here we go. All right. All right. There's there's a bunch of solutions to, to these puzzles here. Just like there's a lot of paths to, to uh, where you end up in life. And here we go. We've got some gems. This is this is I've actually spoken to the developers about this. This is actually a. Uh, a physical representation of the world's words uh, world's wealth okay and it just goes to show you you know these this is not um this is all supplementary you don't need to pick these up um but if you do it will enrich your life but just remember don't get too fixated on the diamonds um because even if you finish uh, at the end without them it's the experience that you gain along the way uh that truly enriches you just want you to keep that in mind here Guys, I just want you to focus on what matters, okay? All right, so I'm gonna—I'm now gonna be. Think of this as a representation of the uh, the uh, money-driven uh, individual, okay? So he's rolling around. He's taking turns. He's making choices. He's taking risks, all to get as much wealth as possible. And guess what? He gets to the finish line very late. Okay, somebody definitely completed that before him. But, you know, that's his choice. Listen, we'll get into free... There's a lesson about free diamonds in this game somewhere. We'll, we'll get to that deck. You're getting a little ahead of yourself here. 
I really would like you to, to just calm down, okay? You know, you see a diamond and you start you start just flying off the handle. I re would really prefer if you relaxed. Alright, and here we go. Alright, so this is a... <laughs> This is a little lesson about um, gaining the support of others. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here we go. This this is what you do here. All right, this is an easy one. Uh, with the things that you learn along the way, sometimes you could use a little boost like that. This is representative of that. All the people in your life that are uh, uh, pushing you upwards towards success. This is a very positive game. Um, that's why I want this stream to remain positive. All right, we did it. Beautiful. I have received word that this game is getting a battle pass. Um, most of the most of the levels are uh, locked behind a paywall. In fact, because this game strives to teach you that not everything can uh, be gained for free. Sometimes you do have to put a little bit of money and risk a little bit in order to become fulfilled. Okay, that's what that does. Here we go. Full steam ahead, everybody. Here we go. Very good. So we got the checkpoint over here. All right, I don't. It didn't do anything, but that's that's all right. We made it to the goal, baby. No, no, they're absolutely not free, and I I, I would really prefer if you stopped. Um, Stop perpetuating that lie, okay? The developers need to eat. Um, by saying that, you're actually taking food out of the mouths of the developers. No, th this will not be free. Alright, you're gonna have to pay for it. Sweet handsome boy, I'd like you to envision uh, a child um, opening a can of beans and there being no beans inside because someone didn't pay for a level. And I just want you to, I want you to laser focus on that image, and I want you to realize that you're responsible for that. Okay, uh, so here we go, onward. You got the pause button. You know, what I like about this game is it, you know, it doesn't, um, it doesn't pull any punches, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't tell you about what you're doing. Um... You just gotta do it. You just It's its like life. You just learn uh, by experiencing it rather than being told. And that's what I really appreciate about this game here. There we go. There we go. See? You just, you just gotta learn it yourself here. Just a little bit of that, a little bit of this. It's all about the journey. All right, look at this. Now we're combining. This is this is this is like a person at their uh, peak performance here. They've they've learned everything they could learn. They have all the abilities that they could possibly have, um, and now they're really uh, utilizing them here. Very exciting. Very exciting. Uh, okay. All right. You fall. You get right back up, everybody. So I'm trying to teach you here. I don't want to hear any negativity. I don't want to read any negativity in the chat tonight, okay? I know you guys have been just going off about what's going on in Saudi Arabia. Um, about the killing of the journalists. And I really would like that to not be a focus of this stream. Because it's really been the focus of the last week and I'm kind of sick of it. Um, you know, Donald Trump is doing what he can to get the situation out of control. And I would really appreciate if... Uh, you know, you guys focused on Marble It Up right now. How the heck do you jump this? <laughs> Alright, here we go. We got oh! Wait, is the platform moving? Oh, okay, I see. I see. See, they're changing it up, and you know, that's that's actually my fault um, for not paying attention. Turpentine, please... 
Let's not bring sexual innuendo into this, okay? On such a somber day. 6-9 may be going to jail for life. Let's keep it positive here, alright? I really want you guys to pay attention to what's going on in this level, because I, I will be quizzing you later for this, and I will be rescinding VIP status um, if you haven't paid attention to what, what each level has to offer. Alright, here we go. Uh, you can buy cosmetic skins. Um, I would I would suggest this is just my personal uh, suggestion here. Uh, purchase the battle pass because you do get extra skins. Um, skins are rather expensive, but really it's uh, you're just contributing to the developers' well-being, um, and honestly, they deserve it. I would really uh, prefer that you buy the uh, battle pass and purchase the skins separately. In order to uh, advance, uh, advance the developer's lifestyle as much as possible. Look, I'm damaged. The chick of your own. Thank you for the seventeen months. Thank you so much. As much as I appreciate the subscription, though, I really wish that you wouldn't uh, interrupt the gameplay here. I'm, I, we really do want to focus on Marble Load Up right now. All right, so this is a little uh, metaphor for all the bumps you find along the way. I don't know if that's a little advanced for you guys, maybe you don't understand that one, but um, it's actually very clever. All right, here we go. We're, we're, just, we're just moving on along here. Here we go. Now, this is something we've never faced before. Um, such a bouncy environment. This is incredibly different from what we've faced so far. I'm actually quite nervous about this one. But we made it. So you just have to persevere. All right, here we go. More diamonds over here. Grab the diamond. Grab the second diamond. I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you how to get all the diamonds on this level. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to get every single one. Uh, don't re-upload this content. I'll be uploading this myself because I do want to monetize it. I'm gonna be the first person to show you how to get all the diamonds over here. If you do monetize this, I will strike you. That that's not you know that's not a warning. That's not a joke. You, your, your YouTube channel will be struck down with copyright, and I'm going to be claiming the ad revenue for it. I don't care how long you've, I don't know, I don't care what kind of music you added to it, what kind of animations you added to it. I'm going to be taking it all. That's all going in my pocket, all right? Because now you're aping off of my hard work. All right. So here's a little trick you could do. You do the speed up to get to the jump over here. All right. Keep that in mind. Write that one down because you might need it later. All right, we're gonna go for this diamond over here. We're gonna do a little jump. Look at that. Look at that. And that brings us over here. See, that's a little trick shot for you here. We're gonna miss it a little bit so you guys can appreciate the trick shot a little bit there. Um, but we're actually gonna come up here now. Gotta go all the way to the top to get to the top here, uh, to the to the exit. Um, gonna take the speed here because we really are short on time. I just want to remind you, this is a time-focused game. We actually missed that one, but that's all right. Uh, we've got plenty of time to spare with the time I saved uh, jumping around. Coming up here. Here we go. All right, going right into the portal here. There you go. There you go. All right, here we go. We're going to get to the goal here. So you can see this is very similar to the uh, recent level we played. This is a game of, like I said, this is a game of progression. You're going to be learning a lot. Um, from playing this, okay? You're gonna learn a lot about speed and momentum. Um, if you're not very good at uh, science, I would probably suggest maybe taking a remedial uh, science course to better understand the um, 
the powers at play in this game. Uh, because you, you might be, um, like, no offense, you might be too stupid to understand what's going on here. Alright, here we go. Now, this is a special one here. Alright, completely misused it. Uh, but I just wanted you to get a taste for it there. Uh, this one's gonna make you float. Alright, you're gonna make your ball float here. I don't want any euphemisms for testicles or nothing. I don't want anything sexual, anything negative. Alright, let's be mature adults here. It's a marble. It's a ball. It's a sphere. We're, we're going to be shortening it to ball once in a while. Um, no jokes about that, please. Alright, we're going to float over here. Here we go. Very good. We did very well there. Saved some time. Uh, the elevator's coming up. I'm just gonna waste a little time here. There we go. Elevator's here. Fell right down. Alright, got a little distracted there by Dak saying that he'll buy this game for 10 cents. Um, let me make it clear. This game is never going on sale for 10 cents. And frankly, I think you should be ashamed for suggesting that, uh, a game that with as much to do as this game and as much work put into it as this game is worth only 10 cents. I want you to think about that. I want you to go to your job tomorrow, and uh, when you're working, I want you to just imagine yourself working for 10 cents and the struggle that you'd be feeling, uh, the struggle that your family and friends would be feeling as you bring home uh, 50 cents at the end of the day. I just want you to imagine that, because that's that's the kind of future that you're asking for these developers and I just don't I don't think it's uh I don't appreciate it. You're actually distracting me right now. Alright. I'm gonna need you to stop talking about the price of this game. Alright, here we go. We're gonna marble it up now guys. Oh you're off tomorrow. Well I, I'd like you to imagine that you are indeed working tomorrow. Um but give yourself about 50 cents at the end of the day and uh, ask yourself if you'd be able to uh, survive on that. That's your homework for tonight. Alright, very good. We're doing great here, guys. We're, we're saving a lot of time here. You can see I didn't waste any time on these here. Doing really well over here. Doing really, really well over here. I don't mean to brag, but we're doing great. I don't mean to brag, but I think uh, I think other streamers that have streamed this uh, actually wasted a lot of time in those elevators compared to me. This is, this is feeling really nice right now. You know, it's it's every human's uh, dream to fly. It's a basic it's a basic desire, a basic need, and this game really achieves it well. Making a few mistakes here already. Here we go. We're gaining some momentum here. You guys remember this from the last level? If you remember this from the last level, I'm gonna need you to say uh, raise hand in uh, asterisks, in between asterisks in chat. Like you're role-playing that you're, uh, raising your hand. If you just say raise hand, I'm not gonna know what you're talking about. On a scale of 1 to 10, listen. Um, I don't want you to- No, I have to- I have to be honest with you, and you guys know I would never lie to you. Um, you know that I'm not money-motivated money at all. Um, this is purely my own experience playing in the game. Purely my own opinion. Uh, this game has to get a solid 10 out of 10 for me. Um, and I'm not just saying that because I'm going to get paid for playing this game. I'm saying that uh, genuinely, if you could look into my eyes right now, you'd say that man's telling the truth. This game is actually incredible, and I've actually never seen anything like it. I know there was a game called uh, uh, Marble Blast Ultra, but frankly, I think that's a complete ripoff of this game. 
Um, I think this game has everything uh, that that game has and more. I just think it's a, you know, it's like, it's like that Minecraft clone that was on uh, Xbox 360 that Keemstar made. It's just not comparable. They're two completely different games. This game achieves and sets out to do so much more uh, than its predecessor. And frankly, I think the predecessor might have uh, access to illegal um, time-related um, technology that allowed it to steal this idea from present day. And since they didn't have the talent to create something this this well, um, you know, they, they just settled for a terrible, terrible uh, port. Thank you, seriously. I've noted that you uh, you remember the level. I appreciate that. I appreciate you for paying attention. Mufins, I'm gonna have to ask you not to use any marble-related puns while we're while we're playing this. All right, you can save those for after the stream's over. Uh, but it's really distracting. And I, I just think you're mocking the game at this point, alright? If you want to be demodded, just continue with the marble puns, alright? See where that gets you. I actually don't want anybody saying anything about marbles in here that's uh, detrimental to this game, alright? I don't want any jokes made about marbles here. Yeah, I just want to give you guys a little heads up here. Um, you know, if you're into the wave, uh, the vaporwave aesthetic, this game has it all. If you're a bit of a vape kid, which I think is the technical term, um, I think you, you'd really like this game. If you're a bit of a vapist, you might enjoy this level. Just save your steak talk for later, okay? Let's focus on the game here. If you want to talk about the game and refer to marbles, that's fine, but don't make any marble-related jokes or puns. Let's keep it serious. Let's keep it professional here, okay? You guys want to play this game on your own time and talk about marbling uh, the marble and the steak and, uh, you know, losing your marbles, that's fine. But right now, we're, we're trying to promote this game, okay? We're trying to show everybody what this game is capable of. And frankly, uh, I think you're just seeking for seeking attention for yourself with all these comments. Just seriously, look what you made me do. Because I'm constantly thinking about this. You're really, you're really throwing me off here. All right. I'm trying to marble it up here. I'm really trying my hardest to marble it up here. I need you guys to be on the same page as me. All right. It's all fun and games until we stop marbling it up. Kano, I just have to congratulate you for uh, asking that question. Um, I was going to bring that one up, but this is a this is a game about uh, branching paths. This is a game uh, that in depth discusses life and the choices one makes. So I just want to congratulate you for. Uh, for finding that one on your own without me pointing it out. It's it's very admirable. You really this level just really makes you think. Alright. And as you can see, you know, I'm falling off the beaten path. You know, I have so many decisions here. But when it all comes down to it, it all leads to the same place. And I don't wanna I don't wanna be negative, but that place is the ground. Okay? In the end, all your decisions lead to one place. Okay? Just keep that in mind. You know, the next time mom and dad are, you know, giving you trouble about your grades, you just gotta tell them, play marble it up. And once they play it, they're gonna understand your perspective on it too. They're, they're gonna say, you know what, you're really mature. You really have this, you know what kid, you have this one figured out. Gotta tell you about, I gotta tell you about that. Yes, this is a sponsored game. Okay. Sponsored stream, sponsored game.
I just want to keep the discussion focused about Marble It Up and its themes of uh, love and loss and um, finding your own way in life. I just want to keep it topical. This game... Some people say this game doesn't have a story, but I just want to say that those people don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And pardon my language, but that's the truth. You know, it's like somebody who reads... Um, somebody who reads The Great Gatsby and just doesn't understand it. They're just like, oh yeah, I read it. And that's that. That's the end of the discussion. They don't tell you what it's about. They don't tell you what they've learned about it. It's just, yeah, I read it. Uh, they're currently in talks uh, about forming an esports league. Um, they're trying to get the actual uh, marble, um, the toy companies that create marbles, to become, you know, part of this league, because it would be very lucrative for both of them. It would promote the marble. It would, pr it would promote marble it up. Um, right now, talks aren't going so well because of the situation with Saudi Arabia, but I don't want to talk about that right now. I don't want to make it political right now. I just want to talk about Marble It Up. And I don't know if you guys could hear this, but the sound design in this game is very, very good. It actually sounds like a marble, um... It sounds like a marble falling into the abyss. Now, I know what some of you are asking, um, where is the really realistic marble level? And I gotta tell you, that's actually behind a paywall. I'm not allowed to show that one. Uh, you're gonna have to purchase a battle pass and look at that one for yourself. Um, alright. Alright, we're gonna clear this one here. This one is uh, more difficult than anything we've faced so far. This one, this level symbolizes adolescence and the uh, the difference in attitude that you feel as you uh, progress through it. This is this is an incredibly trying time for any person. Uh, so this game really, I have to really applaud this game for um, capturing that in this level. And I would really encourage you guys, if, if you enjoy this game, um, please, please, tweet the devs, let them know which level was your favorite, what you learned about life uh, through watching me stream this. Please tweet out the devs and tell them, uh, for example, the adolescence level was your favorite because you really, really could relate to that back in the day. Um, these devs need more attention, these devs need more, um, more respect, okay? I would really appreciate if you could do that. As you can see, this is these are the steps. Okay. I'm going to explain it for all you uh you, you brainlets out there, okay? And forgive me for calling you that, but this is actually uh, a level that's symbolic of, uh, you know, your conscience. Uh, your conch. Uh, okay, listen, you're getting me flustered here. Uh, your consciousness ascending, your knowledge broadening. As you can see, those steps symbolize your climb from adolescence to adulthood to young adulthood. Uh, you know, going into college. Um, getting a scholarship or getting into debt for 30 years in your life in order to procure uh, a, psychology or, a psychology or philosophy uh, MBA. Okay. Uh, that's not true. Joe Rogan had nothing to do with this level design. You, you keep at it, sweet handsome boy. Keep joking around, okay? I know you're a big joker. You know, you don't even care about Marvel at all. You just want to make your jokes about smoking drugs. And you want to be negative all day. And you know what? Keep it up. Because I know at the end of the day, you know, you're watching Joe Rogan. You're watching Elon Musk uh, smoke weed. And you're like, 
Uh, oh yeah, I get this. I've really experienced this. But you're just looking through life through the lenses of somebody else. In the end, okay? And I hate to tell you that. That's the cruel reality. You know, keep watching Joe Rogan's uh, podcast. Keep watching the Joe Rogan experience. Uh, instead of living your own life and making your own decisions and, and smoking your own DMT. Okay? Because right now I'm, I'm playing Marble It Up and I'm really learning a lot about the... About my own life and my own decisions here. Captain, I gotta be honest with you here, and I, you know, I'd be honest with you if money had anything to do um, with my uh, with my decision here. But I really think, and I'm being honest here, I have to reiterate this. I have to also reiterate, uh, being paid by this developer has nothing to do with my decision here. Have to say, marble it up, best third quarter marble based game uh, of 2018. Have to say that. I'm being 100% honest. You could call that into question, and you could say this is money motivated, but you'd just be a liar at that point. And if that's what you want to be, I can't stop you. That's your decision, it's your life, you know? This is a game of life. This is a game of experience, and you know what? In the end, we all end up in the same place, so... Make your decisions. Uh, make your jokes about Joe Rogan smoking DMT with Elon Musk. Make your jokes about, uh... Automated cars crashing into police officers. It's fine. You know in the end you, you know where we all end up. Okay, you 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 have You have an idea of where it all ends. Okay See where that gets you. That's all I'm saying Keeping it simple here keeping it simple keeping it honest. That's what the streams all about I gotta tell you, I don't know if that's true. I, I haven't uh, read anything about the devs listening to the Joe Rogan pod, uh, podcast. I know that the developers know a lot about marbles and also a lot about life. Okay? So maybe maybe start stating some facts instead of just talking uh, out of your butt. And I, I'm sorry to use that term. But I just don't want you to spread misinformation about Marble It Up. Uh, the best marble-based game of 2018. You know, some people would say contender, I'd say definite winner. I'd say a winner for sure. No question. Show me another marble-based game that, uh, discusses life as well as this game does. And I'll show you a liar. By which I mean, I'll show you a mirror and you'll look at your own face. That'll make you really question it. That's not true. That's not true. Guys, I'm gonna... Okay, okay listen. Listen, alright? Because you're really distracting me right now. I don't want anybody else talking about Joe Rogan or the Isolation Tank or DMT or Elon Musk smoking weed on Joe Rogan Experience. I don't want, I don't want Tesla brought up. Just stop. Can we just focus it on Marble It Up, please? I want this to be a positive stream. I'm trying to Marble It Up here, alright? Can we just focus on that? You know, as someone who studied ph uh, physics extensively throughout high school, this game speaks to me on a whole uh, different level. And I'd really suggest, uh, if you know nothing about physics, you should probably um, you should probably brush up on it a little bit before you uh, try tackling this game, because there's some concepts in this game that are really going to make your head spin. All right. You know, some people say that uh, Half-Life 2 is the most uh, world-renowned, impressive physics-based game. But I gotta, I gotta be honest with you guys. I gotta turn my attention here, and this is not money-focused. I gotta turn my attention here to marble it up. Uh, the, the most uh, intense, 
physics-based game of 2018 and marble-based game. I gotta tell you that, alright? I haven't seen any contenders that could change my mind here. I just don't see it. And you know I'd be honest with you. You know I wouldn't lie about that one. I don't know if they want me to talk about this, but the devs have, uh, alright, listen, I'm gonna cut this part out of the VOD. The devs have been discussing some sort of inclusion in the Marvel uh, Cinematic Universe with this uh, marble here. No talks yet about what it would be. Uh, it might just be a little, you know, it might just be a little uh, teaser in, like, Deadpool, because, you know, everyone who plays Deadpool, they just, they, they love uh, pop culture references. So when you guys see a little marble and marble it up in Deadpool, you guys could say, Oh, I know what that is. I remember that one. And you could clap at the screen. I will be. I'm just going to tell you that right now. I'm absolutely going to be. I'd be hard-pressed uh, not to here. Alright, listen, we've made a terrible mistake in this level. That's actually true, Dak. I have to I have to call you call your attention to uh, an article that was written in 2001 by Gabe Newell, who actually discussed how difficult it was to fully incorporate marble physics into Half Life's engine, and how inferior it was at the time. Um, now they could probably do it, but they'd probably need to get the the rights. They'd need to acquire the rights from this developer. I'm pretty sure they are the only people who are currently allowed to make a marble-related uh, physics game. Could be wrong about that, but uh, I'm just gonna, you know, I think it's a pretty safe bet. You can really tell they spent a lot of time with marbles here. There's nothing that feels off about this. I, I have to stress this. This is exactly what a marble would, would roll like in real life. Okay, a warble is not uh, not something that I'd want you to associate with this game right now, okay? Can we just keep it marble related? I'm gonna get all the gems here, guys. I know what I was saying before, you know, sometimes the guy with the most gems finishes last. But I really want to, I really want my YouTube channel to take off here. I want to be the first person to show you where all the gems are. I'm going to cut this out. People aren't going to see this part. They're going to think I did it in one shot. Backers actually get a, a big advantage here. I actually backed this game. As you can see, um, my speed is about a percent fast. Like, actually, you wouldn't know this, but my speed is actually a percentage faster, a single percent faster than most players. So, if we were playing uh, competitive mode, I would have a percent advantage against them, uh, which honestly, I think I deserve. Uh, given the fact that I backed this game, I think all backers deserve uh, some sort of additional advantage, some in-game uh, advantage to really change it up, because they're the ones that really care about the game. You know, if you're not going to spend the money, if you're not going to put your money where your mouth is, uh, then you're not really a gamer to begin with. Don't know what to tell you. It's as simple as that sometimes. Got the gem over here, guys. I really hope there's a sequel to this game called Gem It Up. I think that would be a pretty interesting property. You know, it definitely wouldn't be any Marble It Up, but um, I definitely think it could be pretty interesting. I think it would be a, a different take on this uh, genre.
All right, here we go. I want you guys to pay attention to the landscape here. All right? As you can tell, this landscape is changing dramatically. This is not your 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 mother's uh, marble it up, all right? This is a pro gamer's marble it up. This is a physicist's marble it up. All right, I want you to pay attention to this strategy here, okay? Because I guarantee you, you won't be able to to do that yourself. You're gonna need some practice. I'm just gonna show you exactly what a backer like myself does in these situations, okay? With my 1% speed advantage. That was actually a mistake, okay? The speed really messed me up. I, I actually wish I was slower there. Um, that was a bit of a speed disadvantage there. I might have to talk to the, to, to the developers into uh, toggling the speed here. Uh, there is a friend's leaderboard. Uh, mine is private. Because I play this professionally, and I don't want you aping off my scores. I don't want you bragging that, uh, oh, my friend has the, uh, top 1% score on, uh, Adolescence map. No, I, I, I just don't, I, I'm all about the game. I don't need the exposure, I don't need the constant praise, and, you know, people asking me tips and tricks on how to pass the gear level. I'm, I just want to play the game, man, okay? Alright. I'm a streamer here. Okay. You're actually right, Clink. Uh, you know, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna bring a real uh, analog marble challenge uh, into this game because these, are, you know, this is this is a digital game. This is a, what you call a video game. Um, but the, I have to tell you something. The physics engine in this game. They studied marbles for three years, all right? Now, you may think that's a little... that's a little much, but you have to understand something. When you're trying to achieve perfection, when you're trying to achieve a game that looks and feels like real marbles, you're gonna have to put the work in, okay? Gabe Newell studied the physics of crowbars for two and a half years himself, all right? He looked at one, he sketched them for an entire year, to really understand how it was they worked, so that he could get them correct in Half-Life 2. Now, I don't want, or, or in Half-Life 1 and 2, actually, and, and all the episodes, okay? Uh, Half-Life 3, when? Maybe there's a secret about that at the end of Marble It Up. Why don't you purchase it and find out, all right? Don't be a coward about it. Uh, but back to my earlier point here. Uh, they actually studied uh, marbles for so long and achieved such, this is actually called the the true marble engine, the true roll engine, I believe it's called. Um, they studied marbles for so long that uh, actual marble uh, champions can practice in this game to get their marble game up. Now, I wasn't going to talk about that because, you know, I don't want you to think that I'm singing this game's praises just because of the money that I'm gaining from this. Just because of all the cash I'm going to be uh, getting from this particular stream. No, this is absolutely true. This is rooted in fact. In fact, if you buy a stack, uh, a whole bag of marbles right now on Amazon, and put in code word "marble it up," you will get uh, a free marble skin. Okay? It will be. Uh, I, I have to be honest with you. It's just going to be a certain color. It's not going to be pretty like this backer skin here. It's it's just going to be a regular color, uh, probably white. It's not going to have any pattern, but you have to understand it's exclusive. Nobody else is going to have that color, but you also have to understand that the uh, really intricate colors are reserved for people who have bought the battle pass. Okay. I actually did hear that, Rhino. Um, that's a very uh, poignant tale about a man's dream, and I I really recommend everybody read about it. You know, people are all complaining about Half-Life 3. When's it coming out? Valve can't count to three. But uh, 
they were able to count to two, okay? And that was back then. Technology was not as advanced as it is now. Gabe Newell is probably studying a crowbar so hard right now. That's why his beard has been growing. The man hasn't shaved in years because he's been studying so hard. I just want you to take that under consideration. Uh, the crowbar in Half-Life 3 is going to look so realistic and is going to feel so realistic. It's going to be like nothing you've ever seen before. And then you're going to be singing his praises and, you know, all these people that have been complaining are going to be like, uh, they're going to just completely forget about what they've done. Which level was I on? Oh, here we go. I can't confirm that there's going to be marbles in Half-Life, but um, maybe it, uh, once Valve acquires uh, Telltale Games, they'll make Poker Night at the Inventory 3, and you're going to actually be able to play as the marble in this game. Which is pretty exciting, honestly. You know, to see a game that is not as well known, uh, that doesn't have as much of a following as uh, Team Fortress, uh, make a grand appearance in that game. I would love to see this marble play poker. I would love to see this Marble's poker face. Really excited about that. Listen, you perceiving this Marble as thick, that's that's up to you, okay? When I'm playing Marble, uh, Marble it up, I'm all about the game, man. I'm not about looks, uh, I'm not about feelings, I'm all about the game. Okay, I, I'm laser focused on completing this and fully immersing myself in this splendid engine. You know, we're trying to keep this uh, the stream positive and marble based. Now, see what you maybe do here. That was you distracted me with uh, worldly worldly issues and we saw how that went I'm all about the marble okay let's keep it laser focused here guys let's keep it marble related listen I don't want these I don't want marbles to be to become political we'll discuss that later all right we'll discuss that in my discord in the politics channel I have a lot to say about that actually, but this is a sponsored stream. I want to keep it. Um, I want to keep it PG here. I don't want to. I don't want to be dis divisive here. Okay. I'm gonna be pretty vanilla here, guys. Everyone loves marbles. Anybody can marble it up. Let's just let's just stick to that right now. Okay. Let's not lose our focus here. Alright, let's take a minute here. Let's not talk about uh, effing the marble. Draw your fan art later. We're playing marble it up right now. I don't need to see that in this chat. We're not talking about effing the marble. If there's a moderator in here, I want that message removed. I don't want the developers to start insinuating that I'm promoting uh, effing marbles. I'm not gonna say the word. I know you want me to. I know that's why you said it. You just want to hear me curse, but I'm, I'm keeping this PG. This is a positive stream about marbles. About life and marbles. Alright? Let's just keep it marble focused here. Dawson, I've, I've seen you say things like this before. If, if you don't want to be removed from this stream, you'll watch what you're saying. I don't want to talk about lewd fan art of the marble. I don't want to talk about effing the marble. I want this kept PG. If you're not serious about marbles or marble it up, maybe this isn't the stream for you. Maybe you don't have the same um, curiosity about this game that I do. Okay? This is this is marble it up. We're playing this right now. Don't talk about the fan art. Go on for affinity later and, and post your marble fan art. 
okay? Lewd or not, I can't, I can't control that. But I am going to control uh, what you talk about in the chat because we already got off to a bad start. Already we were talking about Saudi Arabia and I told you not to talk about that. Okay, this is a sponsored stream. This is a marble stream. I don't, these are the topics I don't want covered here. Saudi Arabia, global warming, uh, lewd marble fan art, or anything sexual about marbles. Um, Joe Rogan experience. Just keep those off the table. If, if, honestly, if you can't just for five minutes keep those off your mind, then maybe this isn't the stream for you. All right? I, I want to... I want to keep this marble related. I want everybody who's serious about marbles and marble it up to please say, uh, let's get ready to marble in chat. All right, that way I know we're on the same page here. You know what? I'm not, I'm not afraid about losing subscribers and followers because of this, just because I'm passionate about this. All right, so if you think, oh, I subscribed, I followed, I'm, I'm, I'm allowed to say whatever I want about marbles and how... Uh, how sexually gratifying they are to me. Uh, no, you don't. Because I could kick you right out of here. And guess what? I could give that $5 right back. That's why I have a bank account. All right? There we go. That's the support I like to see. Let's let's get ready to marble, guys. All right. At least, at least most of you are on the same page, okay? We've got some detractors here. We're trying to shift the focus of this wonderful game. Uh, to areas that I have no interest in covering. <sighs> Man, you guys are getting me steamed. But I just, I really appreciate the, the positivity here. All right, here we go, guys. We got a speed round over here. Look at that. My God, if you, let me tell you something, guys. If you roll the marble in real life this quickly, it would behave DJ the exact Baby same D. way okay. as it is right here. Now finish this story. Uh, Captain Hax, thank you for the 17 months. No, they're not. They're not even comparable. You've never played with marbles, have you? I don't mean to insult. I don't mean to take, make this personal, but you've never played with marbles, have you? I don't mean to insult you with that. I'm not trying to attack you with that knowledge. I'm just saying it might be a little embarrassing uh, if you're confusing the two, because that's kind of an amateur move. No offense. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to single you out here. I'm just saying it might be a possibility. All right. Sorry to be the. Uh, the bearer of bad news here, but you're actually incorrect. Listen, I'm trying to gain momentum here, okay? I can't be I can't be focused on all these people talking about billiard balls and other kind of balls. Let's just not talk about balls at all. Alright, they're called marbles. Let's keep it marble focused here. Guys, we're really going to gain some speed here. You know, if, you, if you're... if you Oh, alright. If you're... Uh, I have to warn you. Um, if you're prone to motion sickness, this might not be the level for you. Okay, I just want to keep you all safe. I want to keep you all healthy. I want to keep you all strong. Alright, so if you have to... Listen, if you have to duck out for this level because it's too quick, I completely understand. I'm not going to hold it against you. And if you want to make it up to me, you'll purchase a copy of Marble It Up. And you'll tell them that I told you to. Nerd, thank you for gifting that sub to Ignatio. Jesus. Welcome, Ignatio. Bless your heart. Well, let me tell you something, Mammoth. Um, I could relate to this story a lot. Uh, something very similar happened to me. I won't say what the what article was broken, um, but I sure got a. Uh, oof! I got scolded for it. 
But I'm going to tell you something, and this is really going to excite you. Um, this game, marble it up, you don't have to worry about breaking anything. I know how realistic it looks, but this is actually a, a video simulation, what's known as a video game. And uh, if you purchase this game, there's nothing you can break in this game, I promise you. There's no furniture that can be broken, Grandma's not going to be upset. It's actually very, very safe to play. Um, so if you're worried about damage to property uh, in real life, perhaps you, you know, just just my two cents, but maybe you should take your uh, marble game to the to the digital realm. I'm just a, a little suggestion for you. You know, I'm not trying to force your hand here. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to protect your property. Guys, I'm really loving marbling it up here. I have to be honest with you guys. Really, really enjoying this right now. I don't I don't remember the last time I've marbled it up this hard. Now we're gonna get that diamond. I'm going to turn this stream a little PG-13 for a second, so if uh, you're too young to hear this, please just turn off the headphones. Uh, we're going to marble it the F up right now. Thank you so much, Musical. You know, I don't talk about it often because, you know, this is a gaming stream, but this happens to be a topic that I'm very passionate about. I'm actually uh, a fellow marbler, a marblist, if you will. Um, have been collecting marbles for several years. And I'm just happy to see a game that gives them uh, legitimacy and gives them the respect that they deserve because, you know, a lot of people don't know about marbles. Uh, they don't know that this is actually a uh, competitive sport. This is a passion of a lot of people. And uh, I've seen a lot of uh, video games out there that utilize the marble and really disrespect it. Just really don't understand uh, how they work or how they move in a realistic setting. Um, and I'm just very happy to see that a developer finally stepped up, uh, spent three years of actual study, you know, it's just use some book smarts and develop the game that fully realizes what marbles uh, feel like. Um, because I can tell you, and I've been saying this all along, but maybe there's some new people in here that haven't heard it, but this is ver a very, very realistic depiction of how marbles move in real life. Very, very realistic. I challenge you right now to go on Amazon.com, uh, which is actually a proponent of Twitch. Um, maybe use your, you know, if you have Amazon Prime, perhaps use it. Uh, buy yourself a bag of marbles. Use your two-day shipping that you get with Twitch Prime. And uh, just kind of, you know, watch my stream in, in the background and kind of just test out some of the things I've done. Now, I'll suggest that you definitely don't do it around furniture because some of these uh, lightning fast speeds will damage something. Uh, however, you can, you know, you could, you could definitely test out how the marble feels and you could say, yeah, that's, that's very similar to this uh, video game. I'm still impressed by it. Very, very impressive. Alright. Oh, wow. Did you see that? That was incredibly lucky. I gotta say, I love the tracks in this game. Really pumping me up here. Nerd, please, please, if, if you do uh, do this, uh, send me a Twitter message, perhaps a Twitter video of you utilizing the marble. Because I would love to see uh, your first experience. And maybe give me a review of the marbles that you've used. Because I've been, I've definitely been shopping around, you know, the quality has gone down. I think marbles in the digital space are the future. 
Um, because they do uh, look and feel like the classics without the hassle and, uh, and the uh, damage to your wallet. But yeah, definitely, you know, send me a message on Twitter. I will retweet you. Um, if you have some marble related news, perhaps a marble uh, review. All right, can we get rid of midnight here? Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stand for that. You know, if if a marble would be would be capable of becoming a homosexual, I would fully support that marble. I, I just don't. I don't appreciate that being brought in here. First of all, um, you're unwittingly uh, anthropomorphizing the marble, which I I don't appreciate because that that always goes down a, a sexual. Uh, corner and second of all you're you're really um you're really you're just bringing in uh you're, you're just being detrimental to uh you know homosexuals and i just don't appreciate that i would fully support a marble if it were that, you know, if they were sentient and they were their choice to be uh, homosexual. Um, I don't see, I don't see how we're progressing by, uh, you know, negatively attacking these marbles for their choices, for their supposed choices. They are, they are not sentient, in fact. I right, just want to get that out there. Don't know if you knew that. Uh, you know, the esports scene is being built. Um, I've been in talks with some marble man, or actually, the developer has been in talks with some marble manufacturers trying to get funding. But it's really difficult right now because not enough people know about marble. So, honestly, guys, if you see any marble related news on Twitter, I'd, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would uh, retweet it. Maybe send it my way because I would love to uh, boost it up. You know, let the marble heads out there know, and maybe some. Uh, Potential marble heads too. some you know some people who might be excited about it in the future because I'm telling you a lot of people are gonna see this stream and They're not even gonna realize that marbles exist uh, in the physical realm. You're gonna think oh, this is just a video game I've never I've never seen such a thing, but that you can buy a marble So honestly guys if you if you find any articles uh, any price listings on Amazon that are marble related Please please I, I really highly encourage you to send them my way Retweet them at mention me. I will. Uh, I will give your post a, a voice. You know, if it's for a good cause, I'm. I'm not. Uh, I'm. I, mean, I am known to uh, signal boost you, and I'm very passionate about marble, so I will definitely bring that to people's attention. I haven't heard that they're edible. Um, I don't think that's true, but you know, I've I, I'm I'm kind of a retro marbler. Um, I don't know how they are today. They they might be edible. I'm not sure. All right, and that better not be a reference to Joe Rogan, because I know he's really into edibles of a different kind. So don't bring those up. All right, so my first marble experience uh, is actually a very fond memory for me, and I do get choked up talking about it. Um, my grandfather, with the last pennies to his name, after his social security ran out for the month, he actually bought me a bag of marbles, and he said, um, I know that perhaps these aren't what you've been looking for, but I really enjoyed these during my time in war-torn Poland, and I would love to pass them on to you. And, uh, at the time, I really didn't appreciate them. I, I just wanted Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Genesis. So I kind of just shelved them for about 15 years. Uh, forgot they were back there. They were pretty dusty when I opened them back up. But once I opened them back up and I started rolling them, I got to tell you something, guys. It was probably the most significant and exciting feeling um, of my um, of my early 20s. I have to tell you, it was very very exciting. I. I I can't explain it to you unless you've experienced it yourself. But I, I honestly, guys. 
Go on Amazon.com. If you have Twitch Prime, order yourself a bag of marbles. They have two-day shipping if you have Twitch Prime. Get those marbles. I'm just telling you. Roll them for yourself. You're, you're going to understand exactly what I'm talking about. See that speed, guys? Unlocking a lot of cos cosmetics here. Now, I don't want you guys to get too excited and think that you can unlock these as well. I actually have beta access for the Battle Pass, so I'm, I have all of these unlocked already. So, you know, you might be seeing all these uh, cosmetics unlock all these skins, and you're like, oh, wow, I can't wait to unlock those, but you're actually going to have to pay extra for those. So, just letting you know. Just a little heads up. loving this music right here. It's a very light, um, bubbly kind of uh, tune here. Very positive. Very uplifting. I think after a long, hard day at work, I would really enjoy listening to this. I think I'd be very, very pleased with this uh, soundtrack here. Alright, that was a big mistake there. This tune actually really, really reminds me of the second time I've ever marbled. Um, my brother was crying after having a, a fist fight with... Um, no, it's it's a long story. Uh, marbles, marbles were stolen. And, um, you know, I went down to the bully and I said, Hey, let's see, let's put your marbles where your mouth is. And we had a little marble battle there. Um, I lost! And I actually lost more mar marbles than I care to admit. And uh, both of us were crying at the end of the day. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's all about sp uh, spreading marble awareness and uh, just playing the game. You know, I, like I keep like I keep saying, it's the journey, not the destination, guys. You know, and I keep bringing up the gems, but that's a perfect uh, example of the man with the most gems at the end is not necessarily the happiest. Okay. My mother was very upset with me that day because I did, you know, I lost a lot of marbles. It was a lot of money, I'll, I have to admit. Um, it was quite a bit of money. I, I'm not going to admit how many. There were three digits in, in the amount. That's a, about as much as I'm going to say about that. Um, but it's a journey, not the destination, you know. Keep it positive. Um, Most of those marbles are worth a lot of money right now, but I, I don't focus on that. I focus on the marbles that I've gained over the years uh, instead. Not quite as lucrative, but um, I definitely appreciate them. Uh, if you mean lost my marbles literally, that you're you're in fact correct. If you mean it figuratively, I have to ask you to stop because I've, I've asked you multiple times to stop the marble-related puns. Okay, if that's the case, if you're trying to be funny again and make light of the fact that I lost many of the marbles that my grandfather, God rest his soul, that he gave me, as well as ones that I've purchased after long, working long hours in retail. Then, hey, bravo, mission mission accomplished. Really funny. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, you have to wonder, uh, what are what are your motives? And what are you getting out of this? Mocking the fact that I lost uh, things that were very dear to me. Marbles that I'll never get back. Oh, you made it, oh, I'm sorry, you made it literally. No, then you're right. Then you're absolutely right. I'm sorry, I, I you know, I'm just, I'm just used to people messing around like I, I'm just I'm a marvelist I'm very passionate about about my hobby you know I just kind of fly off the handle a little bit when you know when people mess around don't appreciate the sport no but if you meant it literally you're absolutely right I mean I can't I can't deny that listen there's no marble stocks 
But I would definitely, you know, I don't know what the what the, what the game is going to look like now, guys. I, but I have to I have to tell you, I really think you're going to see a lot of digital marbles in the future. You know, in the same way that Bitcoin is replacing uh, regular analog currency, you're going to be seeing digital marbles that you can collect. And I would definitely say invest in those. Get as many of those as you can as quickly as possible uh, because they will appreciate in value. People love, love digital goods. Just look at the Counter-Strike community. Look how much money is earned there. And just think, you know, a gun is worth a lot of money in Counter-Strike. A marble will be cheaper to acquire but will hold its value throughout the ages because it is it is something that has lasted and has spanned the test of time. Right, this is a very difficult one here. This is a very, very difficult one here. As you can see, very difficult. I can see where you're drawing the the similarities between Jump X Jump and uh, Marble It Up, and it's strictly because of the gems. But I don't I don't want you to get too hung up on the gems because it really is all about the marbles here. All right, let's not get out of hand here. Let's not get too focused on on something like that. Let's let's just focus on the marbles, okay? Oh yeah, this game is really ramping up right now. This is getting very, very serious right now. So you can see, you know, a lot of people don't appreciate marbles, but it's not all fun and games, guys. It is practice, it is a lot of concentration, a lot of calculation. I, I, I can't see a non-student, a non-graduate, succeeding in this field, in this uh, hobby. At least not for very long. Um, really, if you, if you want to become a marblist and you want to have longevity, I'd, I'd greatly stress uh, to stick to your arithmetic, stick to your sciences, and stick to your maths as often as possible, okay? And for as long as possible, because then you end up like that, and nobody wants that. And then you have to start all over, you know? I hate it too, I gotta tell you, and I don't I don't like using the word hate, but it does get very frustrating that people don't take it very seriously. You know, I mean, people mocked Fortnite in the beginning, and look how huge that's become. I definitely think there's a spot uh, somewhere for marblers out there. I definitely think this could become a very popular sport, an even more popular hobby, and people can be very passionate about this if you just give them the chance. I'm just, uh, I'm very happy that I could share this all with you today. I just love to marble. I, I don't know, you know, I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm not going to spend, uh, I'm not going to spend any time Defending it? That's just the truth. How's it going, Fletch? Welcome to Marble It Up. Are you a marbler yourself, or... Is this your first time seeing marbles? There's a lot of people that have been coming in here that have actually... ...been very surprised. And have been asking, what is this spheroid? It's actually a direct quote. I would suggest it if you could afford it, Schizo. Um, uh, but you know, it really all depends on how passionate you're going to be about the marbles. Anyone new to marbles in here? Any potential marblers in here?
All right, we're really making some headway here. Making a lot of progress here. Um, I'm very worried about that last little stretch there. This is very difficult. Um, probably for an advanced marbler. But you know what? You gotta give it a shot. You gotta persevere. Slap, that's a, that's a wonderful acronym. I'm right there with you. You know, I'm not going to appease other people uh, just because they don't share my passion for marbling. Now, there we go. You see? With perseverance, with drive, you can definitely make it to the end. Oh, that's great, Pasta. What, what are you thinking about your marble there? What are your first thoughts? And I wish, so I wish somebody would have asked me that when I was younger. I would love if there was just a, a community of people who could just post some, you know, some marble reactions perhaps on YouTube. You have all these people, uh, uh, unboxing, uh, you know, boxed pasta and reviewing gravy. And I, I would just prefer if maybe, you know, there were a few more marblers out there, maybe reviewing the latest, um, their latest haul or, you know, unpacking a bag. Oh, that would be a great, you know what? That would be a great, um... A great theme there if you had you know what's in my bag and instead of uh, a purse it's actually uh, a bag of marbles and you kind of just review them I think that would be pretty fun I would definitely tune into that I would hold on to that pasta that that sounds like a bit of a collector's item uh, I have to tell you, I don't, uh, I don't have many marbles that have celebrity photos on them. And this is, you know, this is someone who's been in the, in the marbling hobby for about 20 years now. So I have to strongly suggest that you hold on to that marble. Uh, and if you're gonna battle, you know, probably keep that one to the side. Don't let your opponent see that you have that one. You don't want to lose that marble. Definitely want to hold on to that marble there. Having some trouble here uh, finding this exit. Oh boy. Look at this. This is what I really appreciate about this game. You know, it teaches you about time and space. And it really uh, utilizes your imagination here. You, you couldn't do this in real life with a marble. I hate to admit it, you know, I'm... I'm a marble aficionado, but I even I have to uh, talk about the limitations of analog here. You know, it's unfortunate, but it is true. There's only so much you can do in a realistic setting. Uh, striped marbles are actually banned from tournaments for a completely different reason. It might surprise you. Um, the materials that were used in these marbles are actually very rare and hard to come by nowadays. So you could say they're rare marbles. Um, definitely read up on it, you know. The history of marbler culture is long and very interesting. Highly entertaining. Oh boy. Really slippery, this one. Oh yeah. And I really have to applaud them for uh, constructing these, this stage because this is very difficult to uh, replicate. 
because you, you have to you have to consider keeping the ice cold um, keeping the temperature low not everybody's gonna appreciate that you know, some people who can't take the cold are really not gonna thrive in that environment Oh, if you if we get started on marbling surfaces, listen, we're gonna be here all day. Now you're really uh, you're really approaching what I'm uh, interested in here. You're really tackling every piece of what I'm interested in here. Dak makes a great point. This is why I think the futuring, uh, the futuring, the future of marbling is definitely uh, in the digital space. There's a lot less maintenance, and with an engine as uh, as advanced as this particular one, I mean the possibilities are endless. Definitely, I definitely see a resurgence of marble culture in the near future here. Definitely have to make it to the top here. It's gonna be fine. I'm just trying to marble it up here. Just trying to marble it up, guys. You know, marbling in VR would be incredibly uh, interesting, but also very difficult because you have to then take into account like this is a very strong and complicated engine. Um, then you have to take into account. The physical aspects of the player, which is a completely different animal. You know, if you keep it straight to marbles here, it's a lot easier. You know, you you get to focus on what's important. Um, if you're dealing with the with the player itself, it, it it's a completely different thing. You have to take into account height, weight, gender, physique. It just gets a little too complex. I like to keep it simple with my marbles here. You know, that might be an aspect of analog, but, you know, I, I don't think I'm quite ready yet to, uh, to make it that realistic. You know, maybe I'm wrong, but... Alright, guys, listen, I'm gonna... You know, that's a little taste there. That's a little taste there of Marble It Up. I don't want you, I don't want to show you the whole game here. Okay? There's a lot more levels here. But I don't want to spoil them all for you, okay? If you want to see the rest, you're going to have to purchase the game. I'm sorry. You know? Either purchase the game or purchase your own marbles and, and play it uh, play it by yourself. Play it in real life. Hyphen, please. Come on. That's actually a fantastic uh, question, Schizo, but I'm sorry. I can't answer it because Marble It Up... We're actually done playing Marble It Up here. Um... We're going to end uh, playing Marble It Up. Uh, this has been a sponsored stream. I highly recommend um, that you uh, purchase Marble It Up and, um, you know, get into marble culture. Perhaps, as I said, perhaps uh, purchase your own bag of marbles. Um, don't break the bank, though. It could get, it, you know, it could get very, uh, you could get sucked in pretty easily, okay? So just be careful, all right? But from this point forward, I don't want any talk of marbles. We're, we're actually done with that, okay? Anyone who brings up marbles from here on out, uh, I'm going to have to ban you. That's not a joke. It may be a bit harsh, but I really want to keep it topical here, okay? We're going to move on to the next game here. I'm going to play Watch Family.
here we go. This is so fucking loud. Alright. There's no fucking rhyme or reason to this. What? He's looking at marbles right now. What did I say about talking about marbles? Alright guys, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's Watch Family. There you go. We're going to move on to the next game now. Okay, I think you guys are going to be much more excited about this one. Whoa! Not that excited. Not that excited. Welcome to Skinny. Welcome to Coast Town. <laughs> I don't like this place. This place is so scary. I'm down here. I'm trying to see the red. Damn. How oh, can I not see anything? <laughs> it couldn't be clearer on the road. Because it, it sets you up. For what's to come. Alright, so we survived the crash. I don't know where mom is. And the car is out of gas. I better find the gasoline. Why does it let me into the car then? What's, what's, this, what's this little image? This little anime girl. Are we in a different plane of existence? There's no way this car could have fucking dri driven in here. All right, let's open this up. Guys, be prepare to be scared. This is a scary game. You know, this is this is no marble uh marble it up. And I don't want any of you saying marble either. How do you use the hammer? It's a gigantic fucking battery. Oh look, there he is. There's Jack. Holy shit. I'm here. She's in the coffin? Damn, we gotta get her out of there, man. Let's get the giant, I can only hold one fucking thing. Open the lock. How do you use this? Alright, that's not what that's for then. It's probably for... Wasn't there... Oh shit, dude. There he is. There's Skinny. Oh shit, dude. It's Skinny. <laughs> he got me. It's... It's actually Jack Skellington. What the fuck? He's already... I just respawned. He's already on me. What the fuck am I supposed to do about this?
Okay. Oh, I guess time's passing. Is he? Where the fuck is this? Like, uh, hello neighbor. Jeez. I thank you for the 11 months. The chicken fell on the ground. Look, I'm damaged. The chicken fell on the ground. Now I have to clean the chicken. What happened to my key? Did I just drop it over here? Yeah, there, there it is. Take the ammo. Uh, I can't? Okay. Can I just do, like, the Left for Dead trick? And just, like, inch them to where I need them? Actually, okay, there we go. Does it say padlock key? Where was that other lock at? He hasn't seen me this time. <laughs> what a fucking idiot, dude. He didn't even see me. What a fool. Screw off. Alright, I need a, a screwdriver for that one. Oh, huh. I guess that's what it was for. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty scared right now. Alright, we got the screwdriver. Guys, skinny could pop up at any second. I just want you to keep this in mind. This is a very dangerous situation we're, we're in right now. Skinny is out and about. Oh, wow. Look at that animation, though. Holy shit, man. That's pretty good. Alright, got the other key. Dorothy. Alright, someone misspelled their daughter's name. Mr. Boogie. Ma'am. Alright, this this child needs fucking spelling lessons. Actually, I'd, I'd probably just leave her for that. We're skinny. Where's my enemy? Skinny. Oh, shit. There he is. He got me. I don't know, I guess I'm looking for the daughter? <laughs> Alright, where did I drop that key? Right in front of here. This this seems to be the fucking... How did he get back there? This seems to be the... Uh... Oh, that doesn't do anything either. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? She's She's out of the coffin. But no one freed her. The fuck is this? Skinny's passing by, guys. I gotta watch out for him. Alright, so do I not need this key then? We're skinny. Oh shit, there he is, dude. Oh my god. I've never been scared like this. I've never been this frightened. There's a code lock over there. Enter the trash. Alright. We just have to wait until Skinny passes us by. Does it lock door in the barn? Maybe that's what it's for then. What's with this like little anime uh anime gal over here? Alright, don't worry, I'm entering the trash. He can't possibly see me now. <laughs> he gets so confused, man. When I entered the trash. Oh, he's got What is he doing? Which way are you going, Skinny? Someone should get into contact with uh, with Disney. Because I, I think this is... I think there's definitely a copyright dispute that could be uh, put into place here. I think we have a problem here. Take a DM. Alright, the hammer doesn't do anything. He's, in, he's back there again. Pick the fucking key up! There you go. Alright, so he freed my daughter. No big deal. Oh, there is another lock over there. That's right. There we go, dude. We got the gasoline. Perfect. Does that mean we could leave? 
Have we defeated Skinny? Alright, we're gonna... I guess we fold it up. Alright, we're just gonna get into the car. It's gonna be fine. Just turned off... I turned on the car and did nothing. Where did he go? Did he go into the barn? There he is. He just forgot about me, dude. He doesn't have a very good memory. Alright, there's probably something back here. Look how shitty this is. <laughs> just, I could fall in there, probably. Is there nothing here? This has no purpose, this backyard. This is just to give him, like, another path to cross. That's not the right one. Skinny. Oh shit, they're skinny, dude. Into the trash. Skinny! My biggest question is, how did we get here? You know, we have that nice cinematic, and it was very nice, I have to admit. Um, but, it leaves me with the question of, uh, how? How did we get here? Is there something upstairs, maybe? Did I miss something upstairs? Fly down? Why would I want to do that? I don't want to fly. There's ammunition, but no gun. Let's fly down. Watch this. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I've thwarted him! There we go. Now he can never defeat us. He's actually a fucking idiot. Passer is the year of the allies one. Oh. Oh. Oh, I guess we can kill Skinny. Let's just kill Skinny. Guys, this game is really good. I can't I can't take the ammo for some reason. Alright. The year of the allies one. Nineteen forty five, baby. Fuck! How about Nineteen seventy-nine. Damn it. What is the answer? I feel bad for Skinny. What is he doing? Hey Skinny. Eat this. Got him. He'll be out for forty seconds, that's it? Kind of a short while. I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. Yep, I'm not supposed to be back here. Took him the fuck out, guys. Get skinned, skinny. There he is. He's okay. They have done everything I can do here. I have the hammer. What the fuck's the hammer for? That's the first thing I found, and I still don't see a use for it. I'm 
Let's, can we just try leaving? What happens if we just leave our daughter? Skinny, I swear to God, dude. Come up to me. You get the gat. Man, he forgot about me really quickly, man. Get fucking murked. On the chalkboard? Oh, maybe you're right. Ma'am. No, no code on the chalkboard. That would be too clever. I should have known. Where's the code? I so they forgot the code. Just forgot to add it. We. Oh, there he is. It's okay, I know what to do here. <laughs> what? Whoa! What? What is this track? You have lives in this? Alright, we gotta we gotta beat this. We'll figure this out. Let's let's uh let's see this again. Mom, I'm scared. Welcome to Ghost Town. Mom, I don't like this place. This place is so scary. I'm going here. I'm trying to see it. Is that Ellen Page? Is that the player model from The Last of Us? I got knocked the fuck out by Skinny. Maybe there's a time limit, like maybe that's what the... WHY DO YOU FUCKING... Why do you fucking spawn in and automatically try to kill me? Oh, skinny. I gotta wait for this motherfucker now. Damn. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Why is he chasing something? There's nothing over there. Is he just confused because I'm not here? Moom! Moom! Oh, what the fuck? There's a flashlight? What the fuck do I need this for? Let's see just fine in this game. It actually makes it more distracting. What is this? Widow? What the fuck? There's just these useless objects in this game. Moom! I'm trying to say Moomin. I was wondering what the batteries were for. You know, everybody keeps their flashlight in the, the back of the car, so... It's just normal. <laughs> Is that my mom? Skinny, where you at? Oh, I could see his little silhouette there. I'm here! I think I glitched it out last time. Hey, Skinny. Where you at, bit? Alright, fuck it. Let's just open that thing. Is it for this door? Or is it for the, the other thing? Shit! 
Oh, there's more ammunition over here. There he is. Ah, it's skinny. He's gonna get me. Ah! Checking the paintings? That's a good idea. You guys might be thinking, uh... You might be too clever for this game, though. This game might not be as smart as you are. Oh, he opened the door this time. Okay. Where'd I put the gun? That's a pretty spooky painting, man. That's pretty scary, if you ask me. There he goes. All right. What the fuck is that? Wardrobe. Oh! Isn't the, uh... I'm clicking the paintings, but they're not doing anything. This is what I have to unlock, isn't it? <laughs> Get off so I can shoot you again! Oh! The code on the gas pump? Oh, maybe. Damn, he got he got up quick. He got up quick as fuck. Oh. Of course he spawns over there. Wait for him. Where'd I drop my key? Is it in that yard? Let me go behind the house. There you go. There we go. Get that. Let me get the screwdriver up there. Does the pump have it? No. See, I'm telling you, you guys are too clever for this game. You guys should make your own horror game. That's way fucking better than this trash. Got my screwdriver over here. There's my boy. Screw off! He opened the coffin? Did he? Am I just not supposed to fucking die? This game is so broken. Merc this motherfucker. I'm gonna merc this pussy bitch. Pussy ass Jack Skellington. I hated Nightmare Before Christmas. There we go. He's asleep for a little bit now. What is with this little v voodoo doll? Alright, we got that. Got the gas can. That is the last fucking conceivable thing that I can think of that's related to any of this. Fill up the tank. Grab my gun before he wakes up. He could also phase through walls, so he'll probably kill me anyway. <laughs> Why does it only give you 40 seconds? Why is this open? This game is fucking busted. There's no way to beat this, is there? I just have to get that code. If I could figure that shit out, I'd be golden. What a piece of shit. I thought that was a piece of paper. I guess not.
This whole back area is worthless too. Let's get in there. Let's see if there's a guide for this. What is the code? YouTuber. Hello, I've seen your game and I like it very much. I have a YouTube channel. If you could provide me five key of the game. Thank you. All right, let's check them out. Dude, he's got a YouTube channel with 55. Hold on, guys. He's got 55,000 subscribers, guys. All right. I know you guys want to see uh, Skinny, but hold on. We got to check this guy out first. Oh, wow. This guy's playing Hurt World in 2018. This is the kind of fucking stream, uh, the kind of uh, YouTuber I'm looking for. It's got Rust, Mist Survival. Where is uh, Skinny? I was, I was hoping we get, let's see how he plays Hurt World. Let's see what he's got here. Uh, uh, let's see what he's got here. 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 Let's see what he's got سواء الخانات ماتنا زادت كان قبل بس هاي السطعين السزاد لنا سطعين الاخ as much shit as I give rust look at the progression in that game in in the two years since it's been released this game looks exactly the fucking same it has no population alright that's great man that's great stuff dude I need somebody to play let's see if anybody's played skinny let's put in a uh... Because I need this code. Skinny walkthrough. What about English teacher plays? I just need the code, man. Alright, this is not the same game at all. See, this is the problem when you're the first and only person ever playing this game. That's okay. Oh wow, okay. There, there you go. go! There's something going Fennec, down in the kitchen. thank you for 17 months. A glass broke down in the kitchen. I have to go to the kitchen now because glass is splattering on the ground. Bless you, my friend. Thank you. I don't think we're passing this. Which is a damn shame. No, there's no Steam walkthrough. This game just came out like a few hours ago, <laughs> so nobody's played this. Is there a way we could like phase through this? What did he just do? He just made a noise and nothing happened. I want to know what that hammer was for, man. There's something back here. Oh, you could just go behind the entire map. That's pretty sick. Can't fall off of it though. That's a that's a first. Oh, look at that. Oh wow, look at that. Oh wow. It's good game design, man. What's up with the gun? I'm out of ammunition. Is this how? Uh, you know, I'm a gun aficionado, so I know these things, but uh, these are how most uh, gunists um, brandish their weapon when they're out of ammo. Alright, we're, we're just going to run away from it, it's fine. <laughs> he ran the other way. What are we doing with this fucking hammer, man? What is the point of this? So this is covered in blood. 
Serves no purpose whatsoever. This doesn't animate or anything. I thought maybe... What is this? Voodoo. What do we do with this? <laughs> That's true, you're right. Joseph, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're right. I got. I have to... I have to consider that this game just came out. He's right. He doesn't even fucking see me right in front of him. Okay, it just went clear through the tree. Now, if only that could happen with this. Just clicking everything to see if I missed anything, but I doubt it. He doesn't even make any sounds either. That's the best part. He's going around. Doesn't make any noise. He didn't see me go in there. <laughs> oh my god. Look on the chalkboard again. Once he passes me by, I will. On this chalkboard you're talking about? Because I looked at it before. I, I think the numbers you see are, are letters. Are you positive? man they're skinny my worst enemy Dorothy me mem mr. boogie that photo doesn't do anything either mr. boogie Yeah, isn't that terrible? I know. I thought I thought there were some zeros over here or something, but no, it's just it's just someone's handwriting. Mister Boog. There's a book up here, but I don't think I can interact with that either. Mister Boogie. We could see through this? Are you fucking serious, dude? How do we get in there? Break me through here. Do I need the hammer for that? There's the key. I don't think I'm supposed to get up here. I don't know. Maybe we are supposed to use the hammer. Where did we leave it? Did we leave it in that, uh... On the side over there? Let's try it. I don't understand why we can't pick this up. Enter the trash. I wish I could get past here, then I could sneak into that fucking, uh, to that shed. No, 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 you're not catching me this time. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The best part is that the dev uh, made an entire cutscene in a town that doesn't fucking exist because this place is just in a void. I also like that part. It's a Mr. Boogie. Oh shit, dude. Mr. Boogie's after me. Mr. Boogie 2988. <laughs> it says 3am. <laughs> That's really bad handwriting. He's got nothing going on in the back there. Is there anything else we could do with the car? 
Furs rolling. I don't even know why we got gas for the car when we can't fucking drive it, dude. Oh god, it's Mr. Boogie. It's skewing. Watch, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna juke this guy. Watch this shit. Boom. Locked in. Enter the trash. He's a fucking fool, dude. He feels like such an idiot right now. For a second, I thought he had too many fingers, too. That would have been good. A number on the radio? Uh, let's check. I'm gonna check this window first, because... I don't know, something's telling me that I could break it. You'd think that you could break, like... Something. What was... Oh, that was to exit. No. <sighs> There's no point in this. Why do we even fucking have a hammer? It has no function. Serves no function whatsoever. Let's just put in a useless fucking item. That literally serves no purpose. That's good. The only thing less useless is the flashlight. Alright, let's check out that radio. CHF, can't see anything here either. What is with this glitch, man? I think if you trigger him at all... It fucks up the whole playthrough. Am I supposed to open this or something? Break it? I don't think so. It's gonna see me. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Should I restart it and give it a shot? But then I have to avoid him the whole fucking time. Like, I can't... There's no room for error. Like, how is this... What is with these developers? They, they have game-breaking glitches. In the very beginning of their game. You saw it with Fapic. Now we're seeing it with this dude. You don't have the fucking discipline to just test your game out a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not asking for too much. If it were anything but a fucking code lock, we might be able to figure it out, but it's a goddamn code lock. It's true. I prefer a headache over this, to be honest. What is- WHAT?! WHAT?! How did that happen? Oh, good. Alright, I'm dead. <laughs> Six 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 one. Let's try it, man. Let's give it a the old college try. It's definitely it's got to be six nine six nine. Frick this game! Oh, you can't even quit out of it. That's good. Alright. Skinny is uh, not as good as I thought it would be, man. I thought it would be a lot better than that. You gotta give props to Marble It Up. In all seriousness, Marble It Up was very fun. I, I really enjoyed that. I'd recommend it if you liked uh, Marble Blast Ultra. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty similar. It's made by the same devs, I'm pretty sure. Alright, everybody. Uh, I should be back tomorrow. I've got a, an overnight, but you might catch me at some point. I might do an, Ill, or an early stream, actually. You might catch me in the afternoon. I might do something. You know, keep an eye out, baby.
All right, keep an eye out. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and uh, you guys are great. Um, thank you for watching Skinny. And Watch Family. There were two heavy hitters. Very happy to play them. Uh, very happy to play Marble, Marble It Up. Very fun game. Purchase it if, you, if you're interested. And uh, have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow.